Our tale begins in Adler's room, where the Lord of the Castle has called for heroes to come to his aid and defend him against the mad Dr. Junkenstein. against Dr. Junkenstein and his minions. <laughs> Dr. Junkenstein laughed as his minions arose, for the night was the night of Junkenstein's revenge. I'm overloading! Let's get started. So, our paths cross again. <laughs> Not for the last time, I hope. Creation save the day again. They haven't failed me yet. Turning up the heat. <laughs> Did I leave that there? As you. And you've seen as much as I have. Either you laugh or you go mad. Need help. The dark presence coalesced in the midst.
I might be able to make a few improvements to that weapon of yours, outlaw. It's serving you just fine. The ground shook as Dr. Junkenstein's creation I was revealed. Was that a trace of human emotion upon the monster's countenance? No. Surely just a trick of the mind. The enemy is within my sight. The outlaw obeys a monster in lead and fire. And it fell. Monster it down. Get ready for a Junkenstein himself made a grand appearance. You will all regret the day you laughed at Dr. Jameson Junkenstein! By then, the doctor had tucked your visor activated. Right. The soldier strikes found their marks, and Dr. Junkenstein was slain. At long last, the soldier's battles were at an end. The Reaper had been fell, but the Wanderers felt sure that he would return. That's what I mean! I'll heal you over here. In the midst of the battle, Junkenstein's most powerful ally appears. My servants never die! <laughs> the witch had returned the fallen from beyond the grave! His unmoving form, knowing he had not seen yeah. the dark. The monk had succumbed to his wound, Mitzi. Scoff 
that the now still fall, and the monster fell, just as his creator. Exhausted, battered, bruised, the four heroes entered the castle to receive their rewards.